My name is Matthew Partridge and we're the Alban, in the Alumni Gallery at the Albany Museum in Grahamstown for the National Arts Festival 2018. Today what we're looking at is a highlight of um, our upcoming sales uh, in February 2019 and in October Cape Town uh, later on this year. What we've got is 11 artworks for 11 days of the festival and I can walk you through some of the highlights uh, that, we've, that we've got on show for you today. Um, first of all, we've got a Benelli Corsa, and if you'd like to come over here, and I'll uh, can talk you through it. Benelli Corsa is a young painter that um, originated, well, that was born and, and grew up in, in Pretoria. This is quite an interesting work called Ezelin Street, um, which is which, which refers to his hometown. Um, uh, he was. Um, grew up in, in Sunnyside, Pretoria, and Ezelin Street is uh, is the name of, of, of well, is a, is a street in, in Pretoria. So, and these are these 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 figures are, I think, um, probably all of the characters and friends that that he that he had in, in Pretoria. So, quite a quite a personal work. And Benelli is represented um, well has has had solo shows at um, the Smith Gal Smith Gallery in Cape Town. And uh, most recently, he had a solo presentation at the Zeitz Gallery and the New Zeitz Museum at the Waterfront in Cape Town. Diane Victor pioneered this form of smoke drawing, where she captures she captures the smoke of a candle on and the carbonated the carbonated residue of a candle on on the surface. And this is a particularly big, particularly fine example, titled "Teaching Hyenas How to Sing." Um, Diane Victor is known for her rather abject images of, of, of figures, in, figures in, in, in quite traumatic poses that capture the psychic unrest um, felt in South Africa of, of, of us dealing with our, our incredibly difficult legacy of apartheid. However, in this work, um, whilst it captures, captures some of that trauma, there's something particularly almost joyful in the expression of like, these hyenas, as well as the as well as the very precise rendering that she manages to uh, capture with this incredibly incredibly difficult uh, incredibly difficult medium. So really, uh, quite an exceptional example of the, of, of, of Diane Victor's work. This work by Matt Heinle is, I suppose, monumental in scale. Um, Matt is known for his almost photorealistic rendering of figures. Um, however, this, this work, uh, signed and dated 2016, shows, represents a shift away from, I suppose, this kind of figurative reality and figurative representation to more of a gestural, gestural, uh, to more of a gestural rendering where the where, where he references the techniques of printing um, done in oil. The medium obviously is quite thin washes of oil paint, but in these in these etched out in these etched out lines that give definition to this uh, smoke to this to this cloud of, of, of almost like an oil like sheen on the surface represents techniques of printing um, and, and, and etching like one would like one would do on a copper plate. Um, and done in oil stick, so also quite a quite an interesting move in the uh, move in the direction of this of this of this um, previously trivial painter. So this work by J. H. Pioneer um, is, I suppose, unique and fits into this, fits, uh, which is the highlight of our coming up for sale in October um, in Cape Town at the Vineyard Hotel. Um, I suppose. This work titled Wilkeboma by J. H. Pienief is unique and I suppose fits into this contemporary into this show of contemporary work quite well because at the time, signed and dated 1914, at the time this work was regarded as one of the most progressive and avant-garde works to be made in South Africa. And really, I suppose this bright and almost neon green pastel uh, speaks to speaks to a kind of atmospheric high felt light. Pionier was also known for his constant renderings of, of willow trees, which he sketched time and time again. If you go into his sketchbooks, you'll constantly find these references to willow trees, which is, which is really a testament to his draftsmanship. His sketchy lines really capture, 
almost an abstracted type of feeling um, within the within the rendering of these of these forms. Um, this work by Frida Lock, titled Kitchen Interior, is oil on paper. Um, Frida Lock was a, a, a contemporary of Irma Stern's, um, and this work, I suppose, is quite large um, in terms of in terms of her her usual output and, and particularly colourful. What you see is these very abstract, very gestural lines that denote the sort of neat arrangement of this of this quiet interior. Notice the rendering of 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 cloth then and tablecloths and the various accoutrements that um, decorate this artist's kitchen, which is a very, very nice uh, study in perspective as well as in uh, tonal gradients of complementary colours of pinks and blues. Come and find Strauss and Company at the Alumni Gallery in the Albany History Museum. We will be giving walkabouts on the 29th at 10, on the 30th at 12, and then the 6th of July at 4 o'clock. Also catch me speaking about the top 20 hits of contemporary art at auction on the 6th of July at 12 o'clock in the Nelm Seminar Room at the Monuments. It's part of ThinkFest.